All right, well, I realize I haven't done a check-in in a while. Um, life's been pretty crazy. So about two months ago, when I started this 90-day challenge, um, I had a really bad back spasm while lifting my daughter. Um, decades ago, I hurt my back, you know, and I, I went and did a lot of PT and stuff to, to, you know, I guess make life somewhat manageable. And periodically my back would go out. And, you know, uh, with the past probably decade or so, it's been, you know, two or three days at a time, I could usually get it back in place. When I was training for my fight, like, I had to take about a week off um, because it was really bothering me, but then I was able to get back into it. Um, this last time, like I just couldn't get it to relax. Um, had to go see a doctor, um, had to get on some uh, nerve, nerve blockers, and um, I've been doing PT now for I don't know how many weeks, and I'm able to walk now. Um, I'm able to start doing some exercises, some push-ups, sit-ups, squats, that kind of stuff. Um, and I actually met with a orthopedic neurosurgeon last week, and they told me that I had a fracture in my lower back. Um, that there's a piece of bone that's been broken off and just kind of floating around in there. Um, and then severe decompression in my in my disc. Um, he said, like, in all honesty, that he was surprised that I'm able to walk. Um, he's surprised that I'm not in more pain than I'm in. Um, and recommended that I get a double spinal fusion. So they do it two different ways. One, they go through the front. And the other one, they go through the back. Um, both of them have pretty severe complications or, or potential complications. Um, it would be a life-changing surgery. Um, you know, he didn't sugarcoat it at all. He said, you know, I'd be looking at it anywhere from low-end six months of recovery, high-end a year and a half recovery. Um, and everything I've been reading and I've talked to some other providers, uh, it, it is never really the same after that. Uh, unfortunately, fusions tend to lead to more fusions. And so this could help for about 10 years and then I would probably need another, another surgery. So lots of take in, um, it helped explain a lot. You know, as far as why I've always been in more significant pain with the back, but you know, I've been able to navigate it for this long. Um, so, trying to figure out where to go with this and explore uh, different options and see, you know, what I can what I can do. Um, you know, one of the big things about me is that I tend to be resourceful. You know, um, I try to figure out how to work with whatever obstacle I have in front of me and make the best of it. And so I'm definitely practicing all the tools that I share with other people, you know, and seeing kind of like what's going to be the best for me kind of coming up. Um, a lot of unknowns, but I'm having some meetings with some other providers to try to figure out what's going to be best for me long-term wise. Um, you know, people that know me, they know what my lifestyle is like. So being immobile or having something done that is going to be this drastic is not something that I'm going to take lightly. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess stay tuned and I'll try to do better as far as updates, as far as what that's going to look like and what I'm going to do.